Uh, Bubble Things tells the story of the 1924 expedition to Mount Everest, and it blends together the two stories. One is George Mallory's final attempt on the mountain in 1924, and the other is of his wife waiting at home for him in Cambridge and waiting to hear whether or not he's been successful. George was the last great romantic British explorer in a lot of ways. He hung out with the Bloomsbury group and there's the side that was the athlete that climbed and did gymnastics and the side of him that wrote poems to his his soon-to-be wife. I knew really early on that I wanted Ruth to be part of the story. I thought that through Ruth we could get a different sense of George Mallory. One day in her life, just one day would be enough to kind of encapsulate what all those other days must have felt like. So to follow her over the course of planning her day, planning her dinner party, and then the repercussions of that seemed a good way to get at both of those characters. The notion of, of the love triangle was, was very much in, in place for me and, and did come to settle on George and Ruth and the mountain. To have this thing come in between them, I think, is something that a lot of people can relate to. So he was away for a good chunk of time during the war, and then as soon as the war ended, the first expeditions to Everest were being planned. And so over the course of their marriage, they were married for a little more than 10 years, I think. He was probably gone for not quite half of it, which has got to put a tremendous amount of strain, and obviously talking in a, at a time too where there isn't email and messaging and Skype. The information you get is so long delayed and over such distance. And yet through their their letters, they seem to be very attentive to each other and very aware of their relationship and trying to find ways to be close, even though they're, they were so far apart for so long. The most recent letter is easy to find in the stack of them. The cleanest, the clearest, the one that has not been handled over and over again. George once wrote that he kissed my name where he had written it, and he wanted me to kiss it too and think of him. I still do, kiss his name at the end, mine at the salutation. I haven't asked if he still does that. I don't know what I would do if he said no.